fine, we'll, we'll go with that. Hi there, smack in 2016, big exciting year, maybe not so much except for uh, our, our big news here is, is uh, with the, the major success we're having with the Tizen operating system. Uh, Tizen is uh, the number one in the smart TV market. So 36% uh, of the, the smart TV market is running SMAC. Uh, in smart watches, 16% uh, of the market is running SMAC. Um, and only Apple has uh, more smart watches than than Samsung. So the reality is that as, as uh, Linux security modules go, it's the leading security module in both smart TVs and in smart watches. That's pretty cool. Um, and we're the fourth largest smartphone uh, operating system as well. So SMAC is by far the fastest growing security scheme in the world. That was fun. And uh, just, just in case you think we're a one-trick pony, uh, we're not quite. Uh, there are a couple of other projects that are, that are uh, supported by Linux Foundation, the automotive-grade Linux and the Astro uh, uh, IoT-based and uh, targeted uh, distribution are also uh, SMAC-based their, for their security policy. And I've also got the t-shirt up here that says, sorry, we're in stealth mode, because I keep getting these requests. People will say, hey, I'm trying to do thing X, and I will say, oh, yeah, well, here's how you do thing X. It's not hard, but what are you up to? And they'll, they'll say, oh, well, we've got this project going on, uh, and uh, we really love Smack. I say, well, why don't you tell me some more about what you're doing? And then I don't hear anything until they have another issue. So there are at least three of these, um, two, of, two of them with major corporations and another one with a government, that they're not telling me what it is they're doing, what their product is, what their end use is, but they're there, and they're very clearly uh, using SMAC for that. So we're gaining market acceptance, not just in Tizen. You know, Tizen is, again, you know, driving the, the, the sheer numbers, but we've also got uh, some uh, adoption in other areas as well. Now, what did we change in SMAC in 2016? Not a whole lot, really. Um, in fact, the one thing that we really that was really an important change um, was to simplify the the application launch process. Now, when you launch an application in in Tizen, of course, you don't want to actually go out and do exec because exec is, of course, too expensive. So you want to set up a bunch of libraries and you want to, to uh, invoke the application using, using all sorts of, of you know, hand-waving magic um, to make it, make it more efficient. But that means that you have to be in this, this state where you don't want to be privileged, but you still want to be at the, using the, the, the SMAC context that you were in when you're running part of the system. So there's this little window where you want to not have privilege, but you don't want to be at your final application level label either. So we scratched our heads about this and said, well, what would be the best way to do this? And what precedents do we have from the way Linux treats other security attributes? And the closest thing we'd come, up, come with, up, up with that made sense was the way you, you use, um, when you do a set UID, or set EUID, you have the saved, app, saved user ID that you can switch back to at some point. That was a little bit too dangerous. So what we, int what we introduced was a mechanism whereby you, while you have privilege, you can squirrel away a label and say, by the way, at some point in the future, you may want to change to this label, and that's OK. So what the launcher does is it looks at the application, says that application is going to run with this, this SMAC label, put, you know, squirrels it away. Uh, drops privilege, does the stuff, the startup stuff that it needs to do before it in, invokes the application, just before the application, before it invokes the application, it says, all right, now I'm going to set that smack label that I scrolled away when I had privilege. So I don't have privilege now. I can change to that label. I can't change to anything else. And once I've changed to that label, it's erased from the, from the process, so it can't change to anything else. 
So it's just really an optimization for the, the situation where you're trying to launch an application and you've, you've got that awkward window where dropping privilege and changing attributes, you, it's possible to do it in the right order, but it's really hard when you've got user IDs involved and smack labels involved and capabilities involved and all that other stuff. So um, a little bit of a compromise, maybe, but I actually, we've got precedent for it with the set UID, so it's not too bad. And we fixed a bunch of bugs and looked at a bunch of uh, interesting conditions in the network stack, but on the whole, this is really the only major change uh, in SMAC this year. So we have a backlog. Um, backlogs are good because that means, means uh, you know, you, you're <coughs> you still have opportunities to improve. Um, the biggest chunk of backlog we've got is in the networking code, because the networking code um, has evolved over the past 10 years, and it's gotten to the point now where it shows some of the evolution. So you, few a you know, few places where like, the, the siding isn't quite the same color. So it, it needs to have some rework to it. Uh, there are some things that have come in over the past few years that haven't kept up with. Uh, things like Calypso, um, labeled NFS. These are just things that, yeah, they're in the backlog, they need to get taken care of. Um, as, and since the code has gotten to, to look a little bit crufty, really needs to have, have some rework done to it. A um, few other things have come in as well. Uh, System D has become the prominent startup mechanism and although System D does support SMAC, we don't have a Fedora that will run with SMAC, running System D, running processes with, the, with labels other than the floor label. So that's one of the things that we'd really like to get, get going properly. Um, overlay FS has come in, um, Binder has come in. There are a few other things where we've got new features in the kernel. Um, that we don't actually have good SMAC support for yet. So these are things that are in the backlog. Uh, it's not too terrible, but um, it's more than the people who are currently allocated to it can do um, in a weekend. And uh, that's about it. That's the update. Um, if I had more to talk about, I would. Anybody got a question? Going once. Thank you. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> uh, I just have one question about your, the app startup where you can basically yeah. uh, drop or move to a different yeah. second label. Um, is that, do you have policy mechanisms to say like this label can only drop to this set of labels or is it purely okay. up to the application to pick the label? Okay, so what, the priv what you do while you have privilege is you take a particular label and you put it in a place and say, you can change to this label. So it's not a matter of a range or a list. It's like, here is the label. If you want to change, you can change to this label. If you try to change to a different label, it fails. Okay, so it is in policy. Yeah. Well, it, it, yeah, it, in particular, it's when the, the privilege process sets, says, here is the label that you can use. It's like saying, here's the user ID. So okay. the Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but but again, it, you, it requires privilege to set this. And again, you know, all smack labels are equal under the under the eyes of, of the powers that be. Okay. So, anything else? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, I okay. So the question is. Um, in the smart TVs, have we actually seen places where they've mitigated issues? Not that I, <clears throat> not that I can talk about. Yes. Yeah, okay. Anything else? Well, thank you very much. Okay, uh, next update will come.